What does Spring Health do in, in that context? Well, one of the huge opportunities are people who are uh, drinking water that makes them sick. Everybody needs a certain amount of water to survive. And uh, uh, this group of people often is drinking water that's contaminated with fecal pathogens. Uh, in some cases, simple diarrhea, which leads to dehydration and, and, and uh, all kinds of uh, problems. But uh, some of the more uh, striking diseases like cholera and polio are very much facilitated by uh, people who drink water that's got uh, fecal pathogens in it uh, or are otherwise influenced by uh, carriers like mosquitoes uh, that uh, inject them with uh, disease organisms. So uh, in, in essence, what Spring Health is doing is selling safe drinking water. Uh, we have learned over a considerable time of experience, some five years or so, that people in rural villages who live on less than $2 a day, uh, specifically in India, but also in other countries, prefer to have to pay something like a third more to have water delivered to their homes than to go to the neighboring shop or uh, Karana shop, as it's called in India, uh, with, a, say, a 10-liter jerry can and fill it with water. They, they can do that for less money, but to them it's very important. And as we've talked to people, we understand why. So we deliver a 10-liter jerry can to the home of a family that needs uh, access to water that uh, uh, is purified. And we do that for five rupees per jerry can. We may be going through a price increase to six rupees. That uh, The five rupees is about seven cents a day for 10 liters, which is usually enough to provide drinking water to some five or five and a half people, uh, the average size of a family. Right. And, and and then that price is is very affordable, and there's a great return on your investment because you have clean water. Right. Yes, people people spend more than that to treat the illnesses they get from drinking bad water. So it's a good deal for them. It's got to be a financially or an economically good deal for them. And uh, uh, up until we hit some major challenges a few months ago, we were pretty close to break even, and from that point. Uh, the mission of Spring Health is to sell safe drinking water to 100 million $2 a day customers and to uh, not only break even but make money doing it and uh, have helped the, our customers make money because uh, the illnesses they get from drinking bad water have real economic, negative economic impact which is taken away. Absolutely. And, and could you say that that number uh, again, the, the number of what your goal is? Because I think that, you know, one of the things that I've always loved about you is, is the scale of your thinking. So what, what, what is the goal? What's the next goal for Spring Health? What's that target? Well, uh, if we're successful, uh, we're, we're, our goal is to reach uh, 100 million uh, people in uh, India and then uh, uh, we believe that uh, that uh, global business is a good model for scale. So I th if, if we're successful, we hope to double that uh, number with uh, reaching people in other countries. Our next likely countries are Bangladesh, Pakistan, and uh, Kenya. But uh, but if this is successful, it's, it's it's applicable in a large number of countries, and we hope to set up spring health like structures in those other countries. Excellent. And, and briefly, how is this different than charity? Well, uh, there are, the, I can talk about the advantages and the differences, but uh, in charity, you subsidize uh, a service or a good because it's deemed important for uh, health or for uh, mental well-being or for a variety of things. 
But that subsidy, when you provide it free, uh, it uh, the, the distribution often is distorted. And the self-respect of the person receiving the charity is uh, often burdened. Uh, in other words, your charity case. If you, uh, if however you operate through activating a network of small enterprises, each of the small enterprises who earn a living from delivering, in this case, safe drinking water, uh, have to really understand the person receiving it or the family receiving it as a customer. They have to be, respect them. They have to find out what uh, whether they would prefer to have it picked up where they would pick it up or deliver to their homes uh, what kind of uh, package they like uh, how they uh, drink the water does everybody in their family drink the water do, do the people that work outside the home uh, drink bad water uh, you, you have to you have to be respectful and thoroughly uh, motivated to learn about the people you serve as customers, like any good business does.